Hi guys, this is Mike, and in this Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the cloner in MoGraph. So go to MoGraph and go to MoText. And you can type in any text or letter. I'm just going to use the letter T. And I'm going to choose a line. I'm going to choose middle. I'm going to rotate around. And what I want to do is I want to give it a backdrop. And the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to have um, uh, a primitive, and then I'm going to smooth it using subdivision surface. So I'm going to put in a cube, and I'm going to make it wider and taller and a little bit deeper. And I'm going to click uh, this button here for to make editable, or I can choose a C on your keyboard. Does the same thing. So now that we I have this object editable, I want to choose polygon mode and go to live selection. I just want to select this first um, polygon, delete that. I also want to delete the sides and the top. So I just have the, the back polygon and the bottom polygon. And I want to make this a little larger. So I'm going to go back to object mode. And T on your keyboard, I'm going to just, in this access, just pull this out. And I can bring the whole object up using E on your keyboard to bring up the directional tool and just bring this up a bit. Now, how this is framed is important. So go up to your render settings, this little icon here, and you want to choose a 16 by 9 uh, aspect ratio. Let's bring in a camera and look through the camera. And I'm just going to bring this up just slightly but keeping it uh, in the center, in centered. So uncheck the look through for the camera. And what I want to do is, and I'm going to zoom out so you can see, what I want to do is I want to subdivide this, this little angle that I have here, this L. So I'm going to go to subdivision surface, and I'm going to grab the cube that we made and I'm going to drag it until it's a child of the subdivision surface. And you can see the arrow when you go under, when it points down, you know that's a child of the subdivision surface. And then let go. So what you see here now is you have this smoothed out backdrop for our, um, for our object that we're going to be rendering. So let me zoom back in. And I'm going to look through the camera again. And you can see it's a little tight here where um, the edges of our where it's going to render. I just want to zoom in just a tad. Now click on MoText and let's go to MoGraph and then Cloner. And we're going to drag MoText to a child of a cloner. And already you see that it, it clones two more of the T. So click on cloner and go to object tab. And we're going to choose mode. We're going to go to radial. And you're going to see it puts our object, our T, into a radial, into a, a circle. And you can adjust the count here and the radius here. I'm going to leave these as default. And what I want to do is I want to uh, just stay here in the start angle and the end angle. So we're at the first frame. And you can see what happens when I adjust the end angle. If I bring it all the way to 0 degrees, it's going to be 0. just right all in line with the T. Or original T. 
And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to command click this button here on the end angle. And I'm going to go to about the midway point. And I'm going to make this 360 degrees. And I'm going to command click. Now in the same frame, I'm going to also command click and make a keyframe for the start angle. Go all the way to the end frame, uh, end of your t timeline. And then 360 degrees return. And I'm going to command click to set that keyframe. So if I go to the first frame and push play, you can see our T goes around and then goes right back to its original position. So let me go to the first frame. So let's put on some materials. And I'm going to choose a color for the backdrop. I'm going to choose uh, an off white. So I'm going to go to like an orange area and just a subtle off white here. And I'm going to apply that to our cube. Next, I want to add, put a material and a color for the T. And I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to go to color. And I'm going to choose, I usually go orange, but I'm going to choose something a little bit more blue. And apply that to our Mo text. And maybe a little bit darker. Okay, next I want to add in some lights because right now it just has the default lighting. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to click and hold, and I'm going to go to area light. And I accidentally zoomed in. Shift control Z undoes your view. And I want to go to the intensity, drop down the intensity a bit. And I want to go to the color and give it just an off color. I, I never use white or black. I tend to use um, something that's just a, a slightly off. And next I want to go to shadow and I'm going to go to shadow map soft. That gives it a more realistic shadowing. So in the uh, Z axis, I want to pull this forward and make larger. Next, I want to copy this light. So command drag. And I'm going to bring this, the one that we duplicated, I'm going to have that above the T. So I'm going to drag this upward and I'm going to rotate R on your keyboard and rotate. Holding down shift, you can get 10 degree increments and we'll go to 90 degrees. And then we'll just position this in place just above the uh, their T. Um, and maybe drag the intensity down a bit. Okay, so let me give you a, a render. Let's see how that looks. Next, what I want to do is I want to just uh, go through and scrub through the timeline just to see how this looks and then give a render. And as you can see, we have um, our clones and uh, we have the lighting. It gives it sort of um, the cast shadow onto our backdrop. And so for the final, I'm going to just give this a play. And this is just an introduction to Cloner. And you can use all different types of objects. And what I like about Cloner is the power of being able to add in uh, count and uh, experiment with the radius. And then next, 
uh, tutorials, uh, future tutorials, I'll start experimenting with some of the other modes that we have. We have grid and linear and object and getting into some more advanced uh, MoGraph cloners. Thank you for watching.